Life is easy when you're up on a mountain and you've got peace of mind like you've never known. But then things change and you're down in a valley. Don't lose faith, child, for you're never alone. For the God on the mountain Oh, he's still God in the valley. When things go wrong, he makes them right. And the God of our good times, oh, he's still God in the bad times. The God of the day is still God in the night. Now listen to this verse. <laughs> You talk of faith when you're up on a mountain. Oh, but talk comes so easy when life's at its best. But it's down in the valley of trials and temptation. That's when faith is really put to the test. For the God on the Things go wrong, he makes them right, and the God of our good times, oh, he's still God in the bad times, the God of the day, is still God in the night, the God of our day, he's still God in the night. special friend and uh, Mary this uh, last year has been battling cancer and um, she's had chemo and uh, she quit it a few weeks ago it was just making her so so sick and uh, she was just praying that God would give her the strength to be with us here tonight and um, We just thank God for Mary and for all that she has done. You know, I want to just say a, a few words to you. Jesus tells us the story, it's in the Gospels, of the disciples. And he were together, and people were bringing children to Jesus. And they were wanting Jesus just to touch them, just to touch the kids. And, you know, the disciples... Uh, you know, sometimes in the Lord's work, uh, sometimes we just get some grumpy people. <laughs> and uh, the disciples were a little bit grumpy that day. And uh, they rebuked these kids and told them to leave the master alone. Not to bother him. To get the kids out of there. And the Bible says that Jesus became indignant. It means he just got ticked off. He got mad. He got mad at his disciples for their blindness. And he rebukes them. Rebukes them. And he tells them, do not hinder these kids from coming to me. He says, for such that the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. And he goes on to say, unless we have the faith of a child, we're not going to enter the kingdom of heaven. You see, the Bible says it's by grace are we saved and it's through faith. 
It's not of works, because you'd brag about it, but it's by faith that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. God sent his Son to this earth on a rescue mission. God sent his Son, Jesus Christ, from heaven to this earth to save you from your sins, to save me from my sins. The wages of death, or the wages of sin is death. And we're all guilty. Every last one of us were guilty of, of breaking God's laws, his standards. But he loved us so much that he sent his son. And Jesus Christ took our sins. He went to the cross. He died on the cross. He shed his blood on the cross. He was buried. And on the third day, God raised his son to life. Jesus Christ is alive. That tomb is empty. 